another weekly vlog happy monday i'm catching y'all up a little bit late i already went to the gym today girl i got a good workout and if you know me you know mondays are just crazy i'd be feeling like i'm losing my mind i didn't take y'all to the gym but it was a really really good workout and i've just been feeling so good about my workouts in general i really feel like i'm getting back to me like working out is such a release i know some people will genuinely hate working out i used to be one of them but when you consistently start to do it you fall in love with it you just fall in love with the feeling and i feel like that's where i'm at again i think we're actually going to plan like a group workout with the girls this weekend we used to do them all the time because we all lived in like the same neighborhood but now that we've all sprouted out we don't do it as much but i think it would be fun to get the girls together and do a group workout because if you know me me and all my girls, we met in the gym together. It gave very much growing, very much developing, and then we met our friends. I love my friend group. <laughs> Anyways, it is Monday. I got a lot to get done today. We're actually about to run out and tackle some errands, but I'm just, I haven't been feeling well. So last night, Genesis woke up in the middle of the night and there wasn't really anything wrong with her that we could see. Like she had no temperature. I checked her teeth. It didn't look like she was teething or anything. So I was just like, what's going on? Usually right before she actually gets sick, something like this happens where she's just kind of like aggravated, irritated. She might wake up throughout the night. So I feel like she's gonna get sick soon and I'm starting to feel sick now too. Girl, I'm starting to feel sick. So I'm kind of like a little, just fuzzy headed today. I'm not really trying to go out, but I have a lot of stuff to do. So we, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together, girl. Hopefully you can push me to get this stuff done because I really do have a lot I need to get done today. But I do wanna drink one of my teas that I love. Y'all, this is like the cold killer, cold knockout, and I'm about to show you how to make it. Let's get a cute glass. These are my favorite mugs. Like, aren't these so cute, y'all? A little clear aesthetic but let me show you the teas that i actually use i recently became a tea girl so this is the cold killer it's lemon ginger and then i really hope we have some yep echinacea plus let me just say it is way better than the medicine ball at starbucks the girlies lied to y'all because whenever i get that i literally want to throw up it's so horrible so save your coins and just make this at home. It's really simple, it's really easy, but it does what it needs to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot water so we can make this. And they're both caffeine free, which I need a little bit of caffeine right now, but if you don't like caffeine, they're caffeine free. And then I'm gonna get some hot water from my Water Drop. That is our sponsor of today's video. Introducing Water Drop's Core O Instant Hot Reverse Osmosis System. So this actually has instantly hot water. The water gets hot within three seconds and it gets all the way up to 203 degrees. What's cool about this is you can adjust the temperature and the ounces to your liking. So there's different temperature settings and then there's different ounce settings. So it goes from four ounces all the way up to 20 ounces and then it goes from room temperature water all the way up to the 203 boiling water. Plus if you and mama like me, you're gonna love that this has a child safety lock on it so your kids cannot get into it and make a mess or possibly hurt themselves. Now y'all know I am on this health journey and I recently found myself just going down this rabbit hole, really just trying to make sure that I'm doing the best I possibly can to make sure my family's health is at its peak. That's what brought me to Water Drop when I realized how much impurities are really within our drinking water. What I love about this system is that it has the reverse osmosis technology that can remove 99.9% .9 of impurities within your water, which is literally amazing. Now, I was skeptical, because I'm like, am I really gonna taste the difference with this water? But when I say I tasted the difference immediately, it just tastes so fresh, so clean, and that is because it has a five-step filtration system so that it ensures the cleanest drinking water possible plus I like that this system is actually compact if it's really nice on any counter space we also have another water drop that's a little bigger that we ended up keeping in our office space but I love this one for down here because it just looks so cute it doesn't take up too much space and it's very aesthetic if I do say so myself plus with me being a mom this just makes me feel so confident and comfortable in the water that I'm giving my children and if I do decide to formula feed this time around I can actually give Ezra water directly from here and know that the water is clean and safe and don't nobody got time to be running to the store every week to get water bottles i'm just not one of those girlies who has the time for 
that. So I love that this filter actually lasts 12 months, y'all. So I only have to change this filter once a year and then I could be having clean water for the whole entire year. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but it's 2024 and we are drinking our clean water and minding our business. And Water Drop is gonna help you do so. If you are a health girly, this is literally a must have. So I'm gonna have all the links in the description for you. You gotta get into Water Drop. And look, my tea is good to go. Boom, boom, boom. Now what you wanna do is actually get some raw, unfiltered honey. That's the key, raw and unfiltered. I do not think we have any, so I'm just gonna use wildflower. But if you have like a cold you're trying to get over, yeah, you very much need the raw unfiltered, the natural of naturals. I hate having brain fog and I have it so badly right now. Mm. The lemon and the ginger, this tastes so good. I'm not even a tea girly. Like tea makes me gag, but this is so good. I might put it in a um, canister to go, one of those little thermals, but this is so, and the lemon, the lemon and the ginger. I used to hate ginger, but now I love ginger. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna go to the car wash. We need to definitely get this car together. The car is disgusting. We're gonna pick up Genesis. I need to go to Costco to get her some diapers because if you don't know, Costco has literally like the best diapers. We used to do Aldi, but then the quality just wasn't there as she started to get older and was like in her toddler stage and started to like run around and stuff. I just felt like they would literally fall apart. So I was like, absolutely not. But I just felt like Pampers were just way too expensive. Like you're, there's gotta be something in between. And um, I think it was on TikTok that I found out Costco sells diapers and if you don't know Costco is like a bulk store so you buy things in bulk So it's a little more expensive on the front end, but you get way more for your money So we do the Kirkland brand diapers and it comes with 198. They're good quality They last literally like two months and I think they're like $50 One box of Pampers that is like 80 diapers is $50 Listen, I'm, I'm just I'm just relying information what you do with that information is up to you We're gonna go to Costco get her some diapers and then come home. Hopefully we can knock out this cold with this. Usually if I drink like two or three of these for two or three days, I'm good. So we're just gonna power through with this and hope your girl can get it together because I got a lot to do this week. We're also gonna go get my hair done. Very much hair, very much hair. I can definitely say that these boho braids lasted me longer than any braids I've gotten in my life. But when there's no box connected to the braid no more, you know you need to go get your hair done. So we're definitely gonna go. I'm actually going to get a silk press, y'all. I have not done a length check on my hair in so long. So I'm super excited to see my natural hair. I'm not doing any extensions. I'm just doing my own hair. Very much natural hair care all 2024. So let's head out. We got a lot to do. All right, so I came to the UPS office because I had to drop something off, but they're closed because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day as they should be. <laughs> Thank you. But there's this wax spot that I go to right next to it. And I've been telling myself, girl, you need to go get a wax. Girl, you need to go get a wax. But literally my heart stops every time I think of the pain. <sighs> like I'm sweating right now. But I'm going to go do it. I think I do want to start getting back into my laser though. I did laser last year. Well, not last year. It was before I got pregnant. So it was like the beginning of last year. And then it was like the end of 2023, 2022. Um, but I think I need to start getting back into that because wax is, <sighs> let's go. It's now or never. I can't. I'm about to throw it. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window, trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. Second how my hair and my nails look I 
something is wrong with you nervous when you cry. So I say I'm not home. Good morning, good morning, girl. It is a Wednesday. I know we were supposed to pick up on Tuesday, but Tuesday I decided to take a Sabbath day. So basically, I literally intentionally did nothing, absolutely nothing. And it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done, which is ironic. But I want to talk a little bit about that and just like how important rest can be. I know we in this hustle and bustle, but sometimes you really do need a day of intentionally doing nothing. And that's what I did. Also, wasn't feeling the greatest. So I feel like that helped me recover. I'm starting to feel better now. So your girl is back in the gym. We're going to get a good workout in on this beautiful morning i was feeling a bit overwhelmed i was feeling like girl are we gonna get to the gym but we're here we got here so now we're gonna have a good workout i hope this can motivate you to get up girl get up you set them new year's goals not me you was writing down in a little cute notebook not me you was putting the pictures on the vision board not me so i'm gonna need you to get up let's go to the gym and get this workout in here's what i want you to ask yourself when are you gonna finally level up no, come on, write that down. When are you going to level up? When are you going to level up? Jeremy, Jeremy you said it, it was a version of the car that was a junk car. And there was a version of a car that was a classic. When are you going to level up? you got classic on in you. And the owner is ready to classic you out. The reason why you had been classic out, because you keep telling the owner, no, I'm waiting for somebody else to make me a priority. He like, oh, okay, let me know. <laughs> let me know when you ain't looking for a man to make you a priority no more and you want, you want to make the alpha and omega make you a priority. Let me know when you're ready for me to... When you going to level up? Huh? God told me to say to you today, when you going to level up? Listen to me. I told you, you're not an animal. You're not the trees. You're not insects. You was made on the sixth day. Even in creation, you was a priority. Ain't nobody... All the other ones, he just said, let there be, and let there be, and let there be, and let there be. When he made you, he said, come on, y'all. Let us. I didn't hear no us with whales. I just heard, let there be, and it was. I didn't hear no us with, with eagles. It's just let there be. And eagles are bad, and whales are bad. But when he made us, he said, come on, everybody. It's going to take all three of us to do this one. not look like no what two months old he turned two months yesterday this man is chunky big this man don't play he gets down you just eat all day man say i'm getting so strong and i'm looking like my mom and i'm and i'm and i'm being the strongest boy in the world there's nobody strong what, what do you look at and think about? What do you think about all day? There's so much to think about. Y'all, when I say I just got it in, like I was in that gym not playing. <laughs> the feeling of that post-workout, the endorphins, the, the dopamine. I'm laughing too. I'm laughing too, sweet man. <laughs> so good and it was freezing here last night we forgot to drip our faucet so our pipes is a little frozen and I hope they're thawed out because your girl needs to shower I have a long day ahead of me um but today is definitely going to be packed so I'm going to shower we're going to get dressed I'm going to edit this promo real quick and then we're going to head out well Javon I don't know our schedules are probably going to conflict because Javon has to head out so I'll probably head out when he gets back, which is when Genesis gets home. So I'll probably have to leave at like five-ish. I don't know, girl. All I know is I need to go out to UPS, ship something out, um, need to run to Target, and then need to run to Old Navy. So we definitely have a little bit of running around to do today, but I'm feeling super good, my, my baby. You're the only one in the world with these Christmas jams that is just so cute. Only one. He scratched his little nose. Look at him posing. Are you telling me we don't look alike? Everybody was saying on TikTok we look alike. Everybody was saying it. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, so. 
you're the sweetest man. This boy loves me. Like, it's nothing like a son's love. He just, he adores the way he looks at me. I just know. And his neck is so strong, y'all. He literally holds his neck up on his own now. This man is just, like, advanced. Here's my conflict. Is sushi healthy? Because I feel like it's rice, it's fish, and it's a vegetable. Is that not healthy? Like, would it be wrong to have sushi? I feel like it depends on the sushi. Like, if you're getting something fried with all types of stuff on it, like, okay. But if you get something, like, simple and plain, like, sushi's healthy, right? I really want some sushi. That's why I'm saying this, y'all. What do you think, boo? Should we get some? Yeah. Last weekend, we went to this hibachi spot that we never went to before. And usually the place we get sushi from is stupid expensive. Like we spend like over $100 every time we get sushi there. So we don't get it too often. But we found like a little low key, like, you know, like the sushi's good, but it's not like overpriced little spot, which is like great for lunch. So I think we might order from there. Plus I got a lot to do today. So I'm not really trying to cook right now. I don't know, girl, but I will catch up with y'all when we are getting dressed. Chopping up the mess. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. I have this um TikTok to edit. Girl, I'm hot. I just got dressed. Whew. I got a TikTok to edit. I'm gonna do that in bed. But y'all, I've been watching Explained, the Explained series on Netflix. When I say, I love something I can learn from. Like, I'm good for reality TV, but I'm also good for a little knowledge. It's called Explained, and they literally like explain the craziest things. There's one about how the mind works and that whole series will explain like dreams, it'll explain memory and it like breaks down the science behind it all. Then there's another series like Money Explained and it gives you like the history behind like why things are the way they are. It told me like how health insurance started or like how retirement accounts start. Like I don't know, maybe I'm just like a little knowledge girl, but if you want to watch something that's like mindful but not like, cause I, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to watch people fight in wars i hate action movies and javon loves action movies he loves watching a navy seal dive in the water it's like i don't have the mental capacity like i want to watch something light something knowledgeable something good like i'm not here for the dark scene movie can't even see the tv screen because it's so dark action figures pop up i wake up it's bomb going off <laughs> i'm not one of them like i'm just trying to chill and watch something cute and cozy like I'm about to turn on this show, explain. I'm about to edit this TikTok. And then hopefully Javon's home by then so I can go out to Target and um, UPS, girl. I've been contemplating UPS, but I really need to go. We we got to ship some stuff out. So let me edit this real quick and I'll catch up with y'all. Getting sleepy. <laughs> Say hi. My name is... Hi. <laughs> my name is Jenna. I'm getting so big. I love all my aunties. Y'all, in my 24-hour vlog, everybody was like, oh my gosh, she said I love you. And I did not even realize until I was editing. Say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Why you look so big, girl? When did you, when did you, Jenna, the baby, get so big? Huh? Toddlers, bruh, you really got to dissect their language because... Ba means about five different things. Ba can mean bottle, binky, berries. It's like <laughs> you really gotta understand toddler language. They be having a whole, a whole language, girl. Like your gibberish is crazy. But we need to go. It's literally dark outside, but I said I was gonna leave the house, so we need to leave the house. We need to go to Old Navy to get the kids some more clothes. Really, Genesis, she just needs a couple more winter stuff. Even though this girl really don't need no clothes, I just want to go get her some clothes. <laughs> And then um, I might grab a few onesies for Ezra. The double, that's fine, girl. You don't got to be in it. Just go ahead and do you. The double zip onesies um, from Old Navy are the truth. Those have held up to be the best onesies that we've gotten for him. So I'm going to grab him a few more of those. I'll show you guys when we get to the store. But hopefully USPS is still open so I can drop something off. I don't know, girl. It's a lot. But I'll talk to you on the car. Uh, it's like I could do so good. But one night of online shopping will turn into this. I needed some new clothes, okay? I was getting tired, and I'm good for a good two-piece. I got so many little two-piece sets, just some like work from home out, 
outfit so I can be cute but still be a mother. Because that's my thing. Like, I don't want motherhood to just look crazy on me. Like, I'm still trying to look cute. But I also got to be comfortable and I also got to breastfeed. There's a lot of factors as to why I needed to get some new clothes. So when we come home, we'll look through these. Girl, it's the first time I done wore winter coat in Georgia. And I don't know how to feel about it. It's freezing. Like, I did not sign up for this. I came from upstate New York thinking I was about to get a break. It's giving upstate New York in Georgia. I had to get myself a coffee because we got a long night ahead of us. I'm at Old Navy right now, so we're going to try to find Jenna a couple winter pieces as it's getting colder. She also needs, like, a scarf and little, what's it called, hat and glove set. Um, so hopefully they have that here. I need a new robe. And then we need to go home and take this hair out because we literally have a hair appointment in the morning. I'm going to miss these, though. I feel like they're so cute. And I really could stretch another, like, week with them and do, like, updos. But... I could just always get them redone. I feel like these are so cute though. I still have a lot of hair left over where I can do this again. So we'll probably revisit this hairstyle next month, but I need my caffeine. I got an extra shot of espresso. So we're gonna get this night done, okay? It's giving mother, it's giving after hours. Like I live for this life. I was telling my best friend like, I live for the motherhood of it all. Like, I live for the, okay, I got to wake up. I got to bring the kid to school. I got to do this. I got to make this birthday gift to do that. Like, I live, like, that's just me. I love that. I love the thrill of it. Like, it's like there's always something to do. I am a busy body. So it's just like, some people are like, oh my gosh, girl, don't you get tired? I'm like, this is the life I live. Like, I love doing this. I love always just being out here in the mix. And it's not even like you're in the mix. You're literally at, like, Target in the grocery store. But to me, like, that's the mix. Does anybody know what I'm trying to say? Like, I just, I love the mother life of it all. But let's go to Old Navy. Hopefully they have what we need. And then we can go home and get this hair done. Of course they would not have her size, y'all. I'm over here, like, it's giving absolutely nothing. But then I found this set, and it's on sale, but it's literally only three to six months, like. I think the girlies lied about Old Navy because unless I'm missing something, <laughs> it's not it's not giving girl at all like there's maybe one cute thing like this little sweater but it's like twenty dollars yeah you're tripping i could literally go to walmart and find cuter stuff for a cheaper price so i don't i don't really know like what is this pilgrim like this is not the main flower girl <laughs> these clothes are not cute this is kind of cute though, and I feel like it's a good price. It's on sale. This is kind of cute. I might just get her a couple jackets. And then this one's only $6.99. I don't know. What do y'all think? I wish I had y'all on speed dial. I feel like the cloud one, no the colorful one we can make this one work for sure my logic was shopping like I'm not buying one thing so if I only find one thing I'm gonna just leave that thing and go about my business <laughs> kind of bummed maybe we should go to Target let's go to Target I'm not feeling this I'm gonna grab some bananas for Genesis we're still gonna go ahead and look in the kids aisle we have a photo shoot on Saturday so I'm trying to find Jenna some clothes for that also, I kind of need a new robe, so we're going to see if your girl can find a new robe. I have literally like 50 robes, but there's only two that I actually like, so hopefully we can find a good one. Genesis needs a um, like gel for her hair when I slick her hair. We were using this little kid's one, but then we ran out, and I was just like, I feel like this is just not good for her hair type. So I'm going to see. I really love Carol's daughter, y'all. This, if you have boho braids. You need this, you get this. I don't know what it does, but it makes your hair so soft and like detangles it. This with, dang, they don't have it. It's like this gel. Dang, I wish they had it. I'm gonna show you when I get home. But it's like a um, curl defining gel. 
this and the curl defining gel will have your boho last so long and look so good. But I need a smell. This one's from Shea Moisture. It's a flaxseed defining and styling gel. I need something for hold though. Like I don't need it to style, I need it to hold. Like what's this? Curly kids. Ooh, wait. Mixed texture hair care. Developed for curly, kinky, coil, wavy, and frizzy hair. This is a kid's brand. I was just talking junk. Should we try this? It's a curly gel curl moisturizer with light control. Oh my gosh, and it's karma. Genesis loves karma. Now we have to get this. Now we have to get this. We're going to get the detangler spray in this, and we're going to try it out. I feel like Genesis is going to be so happy. Let's, um, let's just take a peek at the home decor aisle because we have absolutely nothing on our dining room table right now because, you know, we put all of our, like, winter decor away and stuff. So I'm gonna just take a peek and see if they have something for like a centerpiece. By the way, let me just tell you girl, y'all are about to see a video that was supposed to be posted like January 2nd, <laughs> but it's been a lot of back and forth with the brand. So it's finally getting posted on Tuesday and y'all are gonna see the tree up and you're gonna be like, why is her tree still up? The tree's not up, the video was just pre-recorded. So disclaimer for when y'all see that video drop on Tuesday, still support though, still support. <laughs> see, I wanted something just like this because I just feel like it's wrong to put something directly on a table. Like, you need a little pop-up. And let's look at their vaseware. I feel like they've actually stepped their vaseware up for sure. I was eyeing this one, this little circle one, for a while. This one has like a wider opening. Let me show y'all. Everything is about like the height and proximity of stuff. So like this is too, these are too far apart. So you need like a middle ground to kind of, this would be cute. This would like sprout out, but I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about this. This is also throwing me off. It's too wide. I need some color. Maybe something like that. Nope. Maybe we're not going to find the centerpiece today. And that's okay, you know? I'm trying to not impulsively shop, but this is something I've been thinking about and wanting for a while. So I think I just need to find the right pieces and not force it. Um, I kind of like this one. This is a different texture. I think how like woven this is is throwing me off and I don't like it. I'm a simple girl. I like this. A sick joke. Y'all, please. That's number one. Number two is, I don't even know if I should brush this out. I should probably just let her do it. It took me, I look crazy. It took me five hours to take this hair out. I don't know what type of micro braid sister lock this girl to put in my hair. It took me five hours. I went from 11, I went from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. last night. Couldn't do it anymore. Woke up, put another two hours in. Is that five hours? Do the math. Girl, it took me a long time. I was like, yeah, I'm never getting these again. Like, I'm never getting these again. Or I'm booking a takedown service. Like, I will never fight for my life like that again. Ever. I don't know, I feel like these postpartum hormones are messing me up because my skin looks a little weird. It's like a little like, not as like glowy as it usually is. And I feel like my edges are definitely getting beat up. Like a beat up. But this is how my hair looks, y'all. So this is the before. I feel like we're still giving the girls length. I'm super excited to see where we end up when we press it out. And then, this is kind of the vibe I'm going for. I think I'm gonna cut my hair, y'all. <laughs> I think I am, because I wanna give the girls like this. Like I wanna do like a shoulder length. So we might not have to cut too much. I kinda just wanna probably take it to like here, 
just to give the girls like oh like house wife nothing but i cut all of my hair off in 2021 literally y'all remember i'm gonna insert some pictures all my hair off in 2021 and it has grown so much i honestly love the color of my natural hair i have like this like ashy brown i've never dyed my hair ever in my life and genesis has the same exact hair as me which is so funny i'm about to like put my hair up or something because there ain't no way ain't no way like i'm just about to be out here like this i feel like it's not horrible but it's not good either it needs to be like tamed what do y'all think I'm gonna just be in the car, so it's not like I'm about to be out here in the publics of it all. Girl, I don't know, but I know that me and Ezra are going. Um, Ezra is coming with me, obviously, because that's my son, very much son. So, here's how we're looking before the hair appointment. We're gonna get my hair so pressed. She's doing a whole like natural hair treatment on me, which I'm super excited about because I have not gotten like anything done in my natural hair, especially when it comes to like hair care or anything like that in a really long time. Let's go and get my hair done. All right, girl, I just pulled up. It was a long drive. Girl, I done passed Rick Ross Mansion on the way here. <laughs> Like, we are in Fayetteville, clearly. We are a long way from Kansas, baby girl, because I am not from these parts of town. Um, we're about to go in and get my hair done. I'm super excited. The lady seems very nice as well. Great customer service so far. So I'm excited to see what she does. I really do want to go shorter on the face framing layers and just, like, really give my hair the intensive treatment that it needs. So, <laughs> It's getting new year, new me for real, for real. Like, let's get this hair done. Okay, right, we're doing your microscopic analysis on your scalp. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here. I'm scared. I like, know. This is crazy. Have you ever seen your scalp? No. Something? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, what are we about to find? Wow. Let me focus it. There we go. Y'all, look. This is my scalp. That's what your scalp is looking like right now. What does this mean? Let me see it. Is it oily? Uh-huh. Okay, so what we're looking at is some product buildup. You see how in your follicles? Yeah. It's all clogged. And, of course, you just came out of braids. So right. we're looking at some product buildup on the scalp. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And how long did you have the braids in? I had it been for a month and a half. Yep, so that's what that is. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even on the strands of hair. Yep. And you see you have new hair strands trying to come in. Now, the problem with product buildup is that it prevents new hair follicles from coming in. Oh, wow. So it can stop your hair growth. Oh, no. We need yeah. to get this together. Yeah. But that's you had your braids in for a month and a half, so that's pretty expected. It's pretty expected. It's not actually, it's not that bad. Wow. Yeah. This is so clear, too. That's crazy. Yeah. It's not that bad, though. Okay. So that's nothing a good scrub will do. You don't have to do the scalp exfoliation because it's not that bad. You okay. don't need it. You don't need it. Perfect. Yes. What are we going to be doing? <laughs> okay. So um, this is going to be the Healthy Hair Silk Press Package. Okay. So what we start off with is the scalp analysis, which we just finished. You don't need the scalp exfoliation, which is good. Okay. Um, the scalp exfoliation is mostly for people that have a lot of dandruff buildup. Okay. A lot of product buildup, but you don't. Nothing that a good, like I said, a good shampoo can't fix. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to detangle you first before I put you under the water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a hydrating shampoo treatment with the sh with the steam. Yay. And then we're going to go ahead and restore all that that has been lost. Because I'm pretty sure you have not been able. Do you wash your hair in braids? No. So yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be some shedding. Yeah. Okay, cool, you. cool. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and restore all that at the bowl. Then we're going to go ahead and go in with the press. Yay. So my thing is, let me tell you a little about my, my natural hair journey. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have never really like embraced my natural hair. Mm -hmm. I've always done like braids, I've always done tape-ins, weave, something. And I feel like now I'm at a point in my life, like I'm a mom, I got kids, like I'm just tired of it. Like I love braids, I'm so cool with braids, but like the whole like extensions, sew-ins, tape-ins, like I'm just over it and I'm just ready to wear my natural hair. Mm -hmm. And I guess I just don't really know how to care for it. Like I don't know how to care for my curls. Mm -hmm. I would probably wear it straight just because of that. Like mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, I just don't know how to care for my natural hair. I don't know what products to use and... It just feels so overwhelming where I'm just like, well, let me just put some braids in. Mm -hmm. But I really do want to get to a point where I'm knowledgeable about my natural hair, which is why I was excited about this because mm -hmm. 
I'm always opting for something that's not my hair when yeah. my hair is beautiful and it I have is. a lot of it and yes. I want to start wearing it. Yes. So you really want to start wearing it curly, but you don't know how to wear it curly, so you want to mm -hmm. wear it straight. Right. I can get that. Mm -hmm. What kind of curly styles would you like to wear? Honestly, like if I can have like defined, because I don't know how to define my curls and I feel like they always just look frizzy. Mm -hmm. If I could have defined curls, I would just wear my hair out like this. Just let it flow. Mm -hmm. I'm not really one to like do like tight styles and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I just feel like every time my hair is curly, it just be looking crazy. Here's my thing. Really what it comes down to is like... I, I do opt for braids just because I feel like it's the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. With my hair, I don't know how people be like, oh, five-day hair. Because I'm like, by day two, my hair looks crazy. And I have to <laughs> restyle the whole thing. So uh -huh. maybe I'm just not using the right products where my styles aren't lasting. Mm -hmm. But I can't do like a wash and go and that lasts the whole week. Like that's yeah. just not for me. Yeah. So I don't know. So it goes down to two things, product and technique. Mm -hmm. And also you have to understand your hair isn't really used to looking like that. Right. So it's different for somebody that has a lifestyle of doing that with, when they get a longer wear because their hair is trained. It's just like how people are heat trained. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing. So you have to give your hair a little time to understand, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be. And then stay that way. Is it possible to have healthy hair that you wear straight majority of the time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, the only thing I always tell people, um, you can't expect to be curly long if you go that route. What do you mean by that? Um, because um, the more heat you put on your hair, even if it's a good, healthy amount, eventually your hair is going to go straight. Right. Yeah. So, eventually you're going to lose your curls. Mm. So, yeah. it's basically like pick a side? Pick a side. Oh, girl. I don't yeah. know what side I'm going to pick. <laughs> so, I'm kind of like, it is one way or the other for me like yeah. it's either i'm gonna have curly hair yeah. or now maybe you, i just need to have faith in this curly hair like i really think you should i i really my thing one of my goals is to get people to love their hair mm -hmm. and it's true estate right I mean? exactly so I, I, I encourage people to learn their hair Mm -hmm. I give them the tools to learn their hair because mm -hmm. I want them to love them, their hair. Yeah. Love themselves. Love, yeah. it, love it how it comes. Because that's really what it comes down to. Like, this is me and my raw, natural exactly. state. Exactly. And can I accept it? And it's one of those things that you can't change. Yeah. So, right. why fight against right. it? You know what I mean? And then it also, like, I have a daughter. She has my same exact hair type. I mean, wow. the color, everything. And it's just like. I never want to straighten her hair, but how can I tell her not to do that when, when mommy does it. I'm doing it all the time, yep. you know? Yep. So that's also something that's been on the back of my mind. Yep. So when are you looking to start this curly journey? I mean, after I, get well. the, after I get the soap <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> all right, y'all, the hair is washed. Yes, it's clean, y'all. <laughs> what are we about to do now? We're about to go ahead and blow dry you, silky straight, and then we're going to brush you out. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like it just instantly. It's we like had so yeah. much volume. Yeah. Like where did we go? Yeah. I see it. I see it. So it's like. So what kind of sewing did you have? Just the. I had a, a hybrid. So it was a sewing oh, bag and then okay. tapes on top. Okay, cool. So this is where. All a double the, whammy. All the tapes were up here in the looser curls, yeah, right? All up here. Okay. It was only a sewing like. Probably right here. Okay. So how is it being a mommy of two now? Honestly, it's not as bad as a lot of people say. Like, mm -hmm. once you have one, mm -hmm. I feel like that's the hardest transition you'll ever go to because you go from, like, full independence to not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but after that, like, you just accept it and kind of just, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And then having two, I feel like it was an easy transition. Okay. But also, he's like a little angel baby. So. Yeah, so that's like a one in a time case. Type exactly. Of yeah. But it def yeah, it definitely depends on the baby. Like, especially during the newborn stage, because the newborn stage can be really hard. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he was just super chill. He is super chill. Like, mm -hmm. just made it very easy. He's sleeping well throughout the night. And then oh, we also have a lot of support, which is key. Mm -hmm. I forgot where I got this from, but it was just like talking about how. Um, the enemy likes to poke at you for what you, what's bad about you. Ooh. But everything is for God's glory. For me, I love seeing Christians that are real about what they go through. Yep. Like, when I used to do my social... I don't do my social media stuff as much as I should, but whatever. Mm -hmm. When I used to do it, I was always that person that was super real. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm struggling with this thing right now. Yep. And baby, it got the best of me. Mm -hmm. it, it got a nice little grip. Okay. 
Like, I love Christians that are yes. like that because for me, you just see too many of the Jolly Greens. Okay. I don't need to see that. Exactly. That's I'm why good. I love doing my weekly vlogs on YouTube because that's mm -hmm. why I feel like I can really just talk to my girls and just let be them know real. what it is and yeah. just be real. Like, we all going through something. Something. No matter how good you try to make it seem, okay. everybody's going through something. Everybody. Like, this is bigger than you and this mm -hmm. is bigger than me. Okay. Yes. 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 Mother. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. yes, girl. Yes. It's giving mother of two. Mother of two. I just feel like I'm entering my natural hair era. Like, I'm just tired of the extensions. I'm tired of the tapings. I'm tired of the weave. Like, I just am trying to embrace me. And this is a start because I know y'all gonna be like, oh, it's still straight tint. Baby, baby steps, okay? I'm trying to take baby steps over here. The first step was getting rid of the extensions. And now we're in my natural. And, you know, just having my real hair out. So I'm super excited about it. I feel like it looks so cute. I just fed little Ezra. This man was asleep the whole time. The entire three-hour appointment. You were sleeping. I caught you. I caught you. <laughs> Smiling. I caught you sleeping the time. I looked over and said, oh my gosh, Gosso is sleeping, man. Um, so yeah, your girl is super excited about her hair. I feel like it came out so boom, so boom. This is actually kind of like the now listen, I know I said we was gonna chop and do this whole bob situation, girl. No, we're we're definitely gonna wait on that. I feel like this is a good transition. I ended up getting some layers, um, but just nothing too crazy yet. She was like, you're going to regret that if you get that. I was like, okay, great. <laughs> That's the confirmation I needed. You stink. You stink. You stink. You stink, man. Uh, Me and my hairstylist were just having really good conversation. We were just breaking down the word of God, and it just felt so good. You feel fulfilled after those conversations, right? And I think that's why it's so important to watch who you be around, because y'all be yapping about nothing, and you wonder why you be drained, girl. You make sure that circle is circling, okay? <laughs> All right, let me change this man's diaper, and we're going to head home. We actually need to go pick up Genesis, and, yeah, that's what we have going on today. Uh, what did they say? They called the bottles. Girl, when I say I was just sitting in traffic for the past two hours, like, it took me initially an hour to get there. It took me two hours and 25 minutes to get home. Yeah. What did you learn in school? Girl, did you poop? We're trying to potty train Genesis. And um, it's pretty interesting, you know? Ooh, girl, you stink. You need a bath. Hmm? Purple? Purple. 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 Good job. Apple? Apple. Apple. Good job. Apple. Apple. Your apples your applesauce. Good job. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, she is so smart. Like I really cannot. She is so smart. But I'm about to girl, you stink. And I just brought you to the toilet and I was saying poop, poop, poop. And she wanted to sit there and smile. But now you just poop, right? But tonight we're doing it really simple for dinner. I'm going to make loaded steak potatoes with the Beyond steak. So I'll show you guys how I make those. This is my first time making it, but I feel like I'm about to snap because that's just what I do. It is what I do. No, we're not going to eat the battery. We're just not going to do that. Giraffe? 
Jenna, what's the lion say? Roar! <laughs> tuck like I'm gonna tuck this is why I can't be having my hair out y'all because I hate having my hair in my face like the whole little ali yeah mysterious little swoop is cute but it's like at the end of the day please get on my face <laughs> today we're gonna be making some what are these called loaded potatoes so right now I have the beyond steak on the pot and we're about to season it up with some like steak seasoning um, garlic and onion powder and the potatoes are already cooked so let's season our meat meat a little bit of olive oil this is a completely vegan meal do some what is this onion powder honestly the beyond steak is not bad y'all we had it with um steak fries and it was bomb steak seasoning i'm using this is my favorite steak seasoning it's so good it does have a lot of sodium in it so you don't really need to add salt but if you like your stuff super super salty you can add a little pinch of salt but not too much and then some fresh cracked black pepper definitely needs more oil you should use stock but we only have broth so I'm gonna just put a little bit of vegetable broth just to moisten it up a little bit add a little bit more to steak seasoning because it's so good and then once this is cooked we're gonna load up the potatoes we're gonna open also I used olive oil salt and pepper on these so we're gonna slice them you usually cook them for about an hour you can also microwave but I just like how everything tastes in the oven then we're gonna split who is that and split don't split too much I'm gonna make like a garlic butter with just minced garlic and some butter a nice size scoop of butter garlic garlic and basically what you would do is take the insides out and mash them but i'm gonna just turn them up like this oh it's hot kind of grab some of the potato and just loosen it up so when you bite into it you're getting like not the skin and getting all the potato all right y'all steak is done so we're going to add the steak in here. This is vegan cheese. So we're going to put a whole bunch of this on here. Put that cheese up on there. Like every restaurant in Atlanta, add some parsley to make it look fancy. So we're gonna put these back in the oven at 450 for about five minutes just so the cheese melts put it in here and then once it comes out we're going to garnish with some sour cream it's the best sour cream and it's vegan 
It literally tastes just as good as sour cream, if not better. And then we'll add some green onions and that'll be our baked potato. It's giving very much vegan. It's giving very much every week I switch up. Somebody commented, they were like, girl, one week you pescatarian, one week you vegan. I'm like, you'll never know my next move. <laughs> Like, I just love to switch it up. No, but I think I really am settled on pescatarian because it's just like, you got to give me something. Okay, if I'm giving up the chickens and the, the goats and the cows, I'm going to need a little fish. Like, not too much. And here is the finished product. Looks a little crazy, but I promise you, it is so good. So, all the cheese melted. I put some of the vegan sour cream, some cilantro, and then some onions, some green onions on top. So good. So I'm about to munch, girl. I'm about to eat and go to sleep. It is nine o'clock at night. It's been a long day. My hair curls are already falling, but girl, it was cute while it lasted. Um, yeah, today was super long, but thank you for coming along with me. Let's have a good night's sleep and wake up and tackle another day. Love you, girl. Saturday night. I know I didn't talk to y'all at all, but y'all did see us go into our photo shoot this morning, which was super exciting. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it next vlog, but basically that was our photo shoot for our new company that is launching in February. <laughs> Very much new ventures, new ventures. So me and Javon are super excited about it. We'll do like a sit down talk and just like getting to the whole kiki about what's going on. But we have a lot of new stuff popping out, so we had to do our photo shoot. So I'm going to use some microcellar cleansing water. I've actually been liking this, especially when I have like a little bit more makeup on. And I want to make sure my face gets clean, clean. I just remove with this and then wash with my regular wash. But y'all, I feel like this week has been so much. I wanted to get this vlog out on Sunday for y'all, but it's actually going to be going out on a Tuesday. So it's a little bit off on my schedule, but I'm trying to get back into like regular scheduled programming where I have like my weekly vlog drop on my drop on Sunday and then like a regular content video drop on Tuesday. I'd be trying y'all, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. But just know your girl is doing the best she can, okay? So I'm about to wash my face, do my skincare and go to bed. We have church in the morning. I'm not sure if I'm gonna start next week's vlog tomorrow or not. But regardless, I'm gonna be seeing you again, girl. But I love you, I appreciate you. It was so fun catching up with you, boo, and I'm gonna call you later. Bye. <laughs>